Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about the FT3D Yesu Mars cap modification. Now, disclaimer, first of all, I'm not going to do it on this radio, one. And two, you shouldn't do anything to your radio to, um, I don't know, uh, void your warranty. But I just wanted to show you uh, what other people have done with their FT2D. And it seems like the FT3 uh, does it as well. So in the back over here, you take out the battery. And apparently there's this uh, rubber uh, gasket. And you got to be very careful with these things. Um, because you might damage something. So carefully remove it. Okay. And this is going to be the hard part because I don't know if you can see it. It's really hard to see in there. I'm wondering if something like this can help. You might be able to see it there. Okay, well, that resistor there, uh, let's see, that resistor is a um, zero, zero, zero uh, resistor, and that's supposedly that's the only thing that you remove. And, of course, after you remove it, and, you know, don't ask me how to remove that, uh, that's, to me, that's kind of delicate work. After you remove it, you should put back the rubber gasket. Now you would think, you know, why would Yesu put a hole there? So what? So that you won't remove the, the, the resistor? It probably is a modification that most people want to do. And then you pop in the battery. And what you're supposed to do is... Um, reset the microprocessor by holding down these three buttons and resetting it. And then you have to put down your call sign. Of course, everything will be erased, but hopefully you backed it up. Apparently, the new um, transmitting frequencies will be from 140 through 173.995 and 420 all the way to 470 now megahertz now, again these modifications that you do you got to be responsible also that if you can transmit on those frequencies but that gives you an idea of how you can modify your ft3